What is up everybody? It is Master Wolf here. Welcome to a brand new episode of a brand new game. This is Jurassic World and like an idiot, I accidentally just bought a legendary card pack. I was literally just looking at them like, like oh these are cool cards and I clicked on it and for some reason it didn't ask for any kind of validation. It was like, oh yeah, buy it. So uh, $50 later, for some reason a card has just popped up on my screen, a legendary card. And I've just bought it and opened it. So I thought I'd start off the video with the start of the legendary pack card un uh, unboxing, I guess. Which I didn't mean to do and didn't want to do for the first episode. But hey, what a way to start a brand new game is just buy the most expensive pack. I I didn't mean to do this. But anyway, let's have a look. So uh, we got some coins. Uh, we got some cash. We got Apatoros. Oh, this is going to be awful. I'm going to say so much stuff wrong in this game. Uh, Apatorosaurus. Garden sculpture, and we got a Sarcosuchus. Epic. So that's actually a legendary dinosaur right now. I don't even know if I can use it because I've literally just started this game. This is part one of my gameplay, and we have got a new legendary Pokemon. Pokemon! <laughs> Jurassic World Dinosaur. Now try this pack. And I'm not I'm not buying another one. Wow. That nearly made me buy another one. Anyway, guys, welcome to Jurassic World. What an incredible intro we've had just there. Uh, this is my world. As you can see, it's very basic because I've just started it. But I've also just bought a legendary uh, dinosaur, which we can hack. Hack, hatch now. Everything's going wrong. Why is everything going wrong? Anyway, we've also got in our hatchery another one here, uh, which we can collect. This is the Major Majun Gasaurus. Awesome, the Majun Gasserus. Actually looks pretty cool. Uh, 40 health, 15 attack. And we can place him down. Uh, can we place him anywhere, I guess? I guess, oh, there's two in there. Okay, so that's actually our second one. We've now got two of these. But what I love about this game is just look at that. Like, look at the detail in this game. It's insane. It is absolutely intense. If you guys want to see more Jurassic World, do smash that like button down below and share this video. Um, and I'll definitely do some more. Let's see if we hit 6,000 likes for this first episode and for my absolute fail. So, this is our legendary one, uh, which we can now get. Uh, he takes 40. So, not only have I just paid $50 to get this guy, I have to wait 44 hours. What? Or I can just speed it up. So let's just speed it up and collect it. Yes! We have got one of the most powerful dinosaurs in the game and we have just started. The Sarcosuchus. No idea if that's how you say it, but that's that that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna put you uh let's put you there. My pride uh oh, legendary part one. Collect a legendary dinosaur. Let's go have a closer up look of this guy and see what he's all about. Look at him! It's basically a, a crocodile. Uh, look at those teeth, though. Man, you're angry, aren't you? You're fat, too. Uh, we can feed you. Let's feed you a little bit. Oh, that is so dope. Look at that. The water actually has fish come out of it, and he goes and eats them, uh, and it gets him leveling up. Oh, okay, I get it. This is genuinely the first time i played this game, hence why I'm, like, finding stuff out as we go along. So let's, uh, can we feed him up to level two? Yeah, there we go. Level 2, buddy. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we've got him now. Uh, and we've leveled up to level 3. And we've unlocked Battle Stage 3. And we've also got a mystery pack. It's giving us loads of packs. Uh, so we've got some food. Some DNA. Not really sure what you do with that. A journalist, which is a special mission. Uh, and 9,600 coins. That's pretty cool as well. If we connect to Facebook, we get some money, but we're not going to do that right now. So, let's go out and battle. We're going to go to battle stage 2 against an Alanqua. Uh, that's a flying one. Do I have... Oh, I do have a flying one. We have a Tropogiganthus. Again, might not be correct, but that's what I'm going to say. Uh, so, we are going to need to use it. Ah, that's a lot. They're a higher level than us. You can see there, he's got six, 87 health... And 33 attack. We've only got 52 and 16. So what I'm going to try and do uh, is I'm going to back out and I'm going to feed this bad boy up. And we're going to try and level him up a little bit. Um, how do we feed this guy? So he goes up to here and eats it. These are just amazing graphics. These these are incredible. Okay, so let's feed this guy up a lot. Um, what do we need? We need him to be like probably even that. I mean, that's not even going to compete with him. That's going to be a close call. So, let's get him up to, uh, let's get him to level 10. And, oh, we can evolve! Let's evolve him. 
Um, we need, okay, so we need another, oh, so we need two of those dragons to evolve him. We need two level 10 ones. That's a shame, but that's definitely something we can work to. Anyway, let's go on to uh, the battle. We're not going to get another card. Let's go on to the battle and see if we can take him down. I don't know if, it, if we're going to be able to, uh, but we're going to give it a quick go. What could I scan? All right, we can actually scan stuff with the camera. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's have a battle. Stage two against a random opponent that I don't know who he is. Camera unauthorized. What are you talking about? There we go. Okay, right. I don't know what this is doing. Let's go. Starting our battle. Get ready. Oh, his is way bigger than mine. In the game. That sounds really weird. Okay, so how should we attack? Should we start off with an attack? Let's just start off with a good old classic attack. Go for it. So this is the whole battle scenario in this game. It's very much like a Pokemon style game uh, where one person battles, it's turn based, uh, and then the other one battles too. Oh man, he's just, he's hit me hard. Okay, so we've now got two that we can use, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, which I believe then saves up my stuff. Um, so the opponent is now attacking. Come on! No, 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 no. Oh my god, we've only got five left. Uh, but now we can attack him five times because of that. So I'm going to go out. All attack! Come on! Take him down! Oh no, he used one defense against me. Yes! We did it! We actually did it! We defeated him and he was way stronger than us because we used that strategy of saving up our attacks. Yes! That was insane! Well done, buddy. Oh my god, you actually did it. And we've unlocked a Al Alanqua. Alanqua. Cool. Uh, can we hatch it? Let's hatch him out. How long does it take? So it takes eight minutes, but uh, we can skip that. Let's collect it and get you into our roaster. Yeah, the big, like the bigger bird, which is pretty cool. And we're going to place you down next to your other flying friend here. Uh, so we've now got two flying buddies right next to each other. And uh, they can become best friends. I don't think those two could form together. No, I don't think those two could. Um, but yeah, that, so that, that actually went really well. I'm really impressed with that. Our first battle here uh, after the tutorial went well. Okay, so Battle Stage 3 is against a Liminos. And uh, we are going to try and take this down. Oh, he's also got a Lanqua. Uh, so we're going to bring in this guy. Now this should, in theory, pummel his. It should just wreck it and destroy it. So that should be pretty interesting. And then we've also got... Um, We've got, to, we've got to use this guy again to come in and battle. But if not, I'll bring him in afterwards. All right. Battle number two. Let's see. He's going to be like quaking in his boots right now. Because there is no way he's going to be able to beat me. I think I might be able to take him out actually in one shot. I genuinely think this might finish him. It did. Oh my gosh. Get wrecked, son. Get literally wrecked. Now, I don't think I can take this guy out uh, because he is a flying dinosaur. So, I need to pull in this guy. So, let's swap it over. It costs one to swap. Uh, how do I swap? There we go. Okay. So, in comes our flying one. Maybe I could have because he's actually sat on oh, no, and then he flies up. So, I'm going to save up for my next shot. I'm going to let him attack me. Is he going to attack me? Oh, he's not. Okay. So, we're going to go for... Um, we're going to go for four attacks straight in here. Let's just do it. Oh, he used two defenses on me. So this could be... Oh, nearly! Oh, very, very nearly a complete destruction there. Uh, but he was able to defend... Oh, two attacks coming in. Ow, that hurt me too. But we've now got four. Uh, and I'm going to use three attacks and one defense just in case. I don't know why I use the one defense, to be honest. There we go. Get wrecked, my friend. That is battle three done. And uh, we've completely wrecked him yet again. Obviously, our first dinosaur, being the legendary dinosaur, uh, was pretty intense. But we were able to destroy him. And we've now unlocked ourselves a Limno Celis. Sounds pretty cool. Let's get him hatching. Uh, so that will take a little while. And then we can also hatch another dinosaur. So what should we hatch? We can do a trice tricep Triceratops. I know that one. Um, I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for this guy, the Manganidida, because I actually need, um, I actually need one of them so that I can mate it with the other one, I think. So that's going to be interesting. Let's get those two up and going. And shall we see if we got, we haven't got another battle yet. We need to get to part level four. So let's go into uh, here and see what we've got. 
Can we up? So we can upgrade stuff. We've got stuff in the market as well. Uh, but what challenges have we got here? Um. Okay. Right. Thanks for telling me. Uh, so have a Mandarin level five or higher. So that's literally my challenge. Okay. Right. So let's. I guess we should go do that. We need to get this guy then up to level five. So let's feed him. What feeds him? What is it? It's just like a big barrel of meat. Okay, so let's get him up to level 5. Are we going to be able to do it? Yes, we are. Of course we are. And that is that challenge complete. Yes, mission complete. There we go. I will take all your XP and your food. Does that level me up? Oh, nearly. Really, really nearly. Okay, what do you need? Uh, not only do we need to produce dinosaurs, but we also establish buildings and decorations to enhance the park's visual apparel. Uh, appeal, sorry. Buy and place an ACU security office and buy a fountain. Okay, let's do it. So we need these two things, do we? Right, well, let's buy this then. And we're going to put you... Can I put this wherever I want? No, I think I can only, like, put it over there. We're going to put that one in the corner. And then we're also going to buy and build her a fountain. Because for some reason, she really wants a fountain. And we're going to put that next to that. And then hopefully, that should do that. So is that mission complete? So the fountain's done. We just need to wait 40 seconds for this. Let's just use one to skip it. And mission complete. We've also leveled up now, surely. Come on, to level four. Yes, we have. We are level four, which means we can go and do battle stage four. And we can expand ourselves even more. And we have a mystery pack to unlock. So we got some food. We got some DNA stuff. We got some coins. And we got another common dinosaur. Very nice indeed. But now, should we? can we go out and attack? Um... What's that? Innovation scent. That's not it. All right, here we go. The battle stage four. So, what are we attacking here? Wow, we got some big dinosaurs. So, we want to use... Um, you know what? Let's just use this. I'm, I shouldn't really be using it. But let's use him again. And our Triceratops. And also our level five Majora... Because they should wreck them. Okay. Okay, he's a lot bigger than me. He's a lot bigger than me. But, I feel with this attack, I can take him out in one hit. Thank you very much, everybody. You get destroyed, dinosaur. Whoa, that's like another one of me. Um, and he used his thing to ready up. You know what? I think, to be honest, I can attack him again and I can take this guy down in one turn. So, I'm literally going to use... I'm going to use one and then I'm going to use a placeholder too. Uh, just so for the next one. Oh, he, he defended so it did nothing. So, he's blocked it. Great. Okay, so he can actually attack me now. He's going to use two attacks on me. Oh, he's using one attack, uh, which takes 18 health. But now I've got four goes. So I'm going to use two of those, and I'm going to save two placeholders as well. Yes, there we go. So we've got a hit out. This could wipe him out. It does. It actually does. Victory is ours because of our amazing dinosaur here. That is crazy. We are just wiping people clean. Thank God we got that legendary pack because we've just been able to annihilate some people. Uh, we've got more stuff that we can hatch soon, but we can't hatch them just yet. So that is going to be part one of our Jurassic World gameplay, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had real fun and I want to do it again. So definitely leave a like down below. Until next time, my friends, thank you for watching. Peace out.